With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is when a reaction is progressing. Now you are given four statements. You have to tell which one is the correct statement regarding this uh, statement, regarding the question, right? So, uh, when the reaction is progressing. So, let us take an example of a reaction. For example, the reaction is A plus B giving C plus D where A and B are reactants and C and D are the products. The first uh, statement says that the rate of the reaction goes on increasing. Now this is an incorrect statement. Why? Because if we talk about the rate, it is defined as rate constant into the concentration of uh, the reactants, right? The rate is defined as R is equal to K into the concentration of reactants. Let this be the power of X and let this be the power of Y. Now, X and Y represents the orders with respect to A and B in the given reaction, right? Now, what happens when a reaction proceeds? What happens when a reaction proceeds? The reactants starts converting to products, right? The reactants start converting to product, which means that the concentration of reactants are decreasing continuously. Only then it will be converted to products. Initially, you have only reactants in your reaction vessel wherever you are carrying out the reaction. But as the reaction is proceeding, the amount of reactants in that container is decreasing and new products are getting formed and the concentration of product is increasing. So, as the rate depends upon the concentration of reactants, so if the concentration of the reactants are going to decrease, the rate is also going to decrease. Right? If the concentration of reactants are decreasing, the rate is going to decrease only and the rate always and always depends upon the concentration of reactants only. And whenever the reaction is going to take place, the reactant is going to decrease only. Only then the reaction will take place. How can the amount of reactant increase in a reaction? How can that happen? That can happen only if the backward reaction is taking place. But that is not the case. In the backward reaction, C plus D will act as reactants. So, always and always rate depends upon the concentration of reactants. And reactants are always getting converted to products. So, the concentration of reactants are getting decreased only. So, the rate always decreases as the reaction proceeds. Right? So, first statement is incorrect. Talking about the second statement, it says that the concentration of products goes on decreasing incorrect because as we had discussed earlier that as the reaction is proceeding as the reactant is getting converted to products new product uh, the products are getting formed so as the products are getting formed initially there was no concentration of the products in the vessel but now the reaction is taking place so the products have been formed for example let us consider a case a plus b giving c plus d initially the amount of reactant was 100 this was at time t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to t some of the reaction took place and the amount of reactant left is 90 and the amount of product are 10 and 10 according to the stoichiometry, right? Out of 100, 10 got reacted. So, 90 is left and that 10 that is reacted is formed into a product. So, from here, what do you see? That the concentration of reactant has decreased with time and the concentration of product has increased because initially there was nothing in there. The concentration of product was 0 but after the reaction proceeded, the concentration for the product formation took place so the concentration of product is going to increase right second statement is also incorrect talking about the third one it says that the concentration of reactants goes on decreasing now this is a correct statement as we discussed earlier as well that the, the reactant concentration is always going to decrease only and you can see here also that whenever the reaction is proceeding some amount of reactant is going to react some amount of reactant is going to react only then the reaction is going to take place and when some amount of reactant will react Less amount will be left as in this case 90 is left, right? So, therefore, the concentration of reactant goes on decreasing. So, the third statement is the correct answer for the question because the fourth statement says that the reaction rate always remains constant, not at all. The rate depends upon the concentration of the reactant. And as the time proceeds, suppose at time t is equal to t dash, now the amount of reactant left is 80 only. And the amount of products formed are 20 and 20. So, as the time proceeds, the concentration of reactants goes on decreasing and the concentration of products goes on increasing, right? So, reaction rate depends upon the concentration of reactants. So, if the concentration of reactant is decreasing with time, the rate has to decrease, okay? So, the correct answer is option 3 only. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.